Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about the Proxmox backup server for Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first what is Proxmox backup server? So if you go to the web page of uh, Proxmox you see here that there is a Proxmox backup server which is actually an enterprise backup solution for backing up and restoring VMs, container and physical hosts. Okay. So in this video we'll be actually downloading and installing this Proxmox backup server in order to backup our VM and LXC container. Okay. So in order to download it, it's pretty easy. You have to go to your this click this button here about Proxmox backup server. Then of course you go to the download section. Okay. So make sure to choose Proxmox backup server. And here you will see the different version of Proxmox backup server. Okay. So we can download this version here version 3.2 ISO image okay and after downloading this image we'll be actually uploading it to our Proxmox storage and then install it as a VM okay so this is not the best solution to choose because normally you would install a Proxmox backup server on a bare metal server but me just for demonstration purposes I will install it on a virtual machine on our Proxmox host. Okay, so this is our Proxmox backup server ISO download image. So let's go to our Proxmox server here, Proxmox virtual environment, and I will go actually to my storage. I will choose ISO images. Okay, then I have to upload this ISO in order to allow me to install it as a virtual machine. So I will click on this upload button here and I will select the file from my system. Okay. So here we go. I'll choose the Proxmox backup server and I will just hit open. Then after that I will apply or actually upload and as you can see here, the ISO image is uploaded to our Proxmox virtual environment storage. Okay, now, so as you see here, our uh, ISO image has been uploaded and the task is okay. So now we can use it in order to actually create our VM. So as I told you, this is not the best solution to do because here we are installing Proxmox backup server as a virtual machine inside our hosts. So if the host is down, so the backup server also is down. But here just for uh, learning purposes, I will do that. Okay. So now all I have to do is to create actually a VM. So let's create a virtual machine. So this is the interface. So I will choose a name. So I will just call it PBS01. So P for Proxmox, P for backup and S for server. Okay. And I will go next. So after that, I have to choose, of course, the ISO image from our storage. So here I will choose the Proxmox backup server that I have just uploaded to my storage. Okay. And I can keep the default. So the type is Linux, the kernel is 6.x or something. Okay. So I will go next. And also for the system, we can keep the default. For the disk here, it depends on how many VM on LXC container that you want to actually uh, backup. But here I will just uh, also keep 32 gigabytes. Okay. And here for the CPU, uh, our Proxmox backup server doesn't need too much CPUs. 
so you can choose from two to four so i will just choose here two cores and for the type i will just use the host okay so i have total of two cores for my proxmox backup server for the memory it doesn't also require a lot of memory but i will choose here four gigabytes then i will go next and here for the bridge i will choose the default one which is vmpr0 okay so now i guess i have everything in order to run actually our vm so let's just hit finish And here on the left you will, you will see that the, the PBS virtual machine has been created. So all what we need now is actually to start it and begin the installation process. So I will just hit the start button here. And I will choose my console. So this is the interface for actually launching the installation of the Proxmox backup server. So I will choose the graphical install. So I will just hit enter and the process will actually begin. So here we go, we have the end user license agreement. So you have of course to read it and hit I agree. Then here you have to choose the target hard disk where you want to install uh, your uh, Proxmox backup server. So I will choose mine which is dev sda. Okay, so I will go next. So after that, of course, you have to choose the country. So I'll choose Germany. And for time zone, I will keep with the default. Here, I have to choose actually the keyboard layout. So me, I'm using an English one. Then I will go next. For the password here, I have to choose the password for my backup server. So I will just choose this one here. For the mail, I will leave it like that and I will go next. So actually I need a valid email address, okay. And this is my host name, which is pbs.example.invalid. So let's choose my domain name. And here, of course, you have to choose the IP address that you will be using in order to access your Proxmox web server. So I'll choose 2.2 .2 because actually my host is 2.0.1 and the default getaway is this one. Okay, so everything is okay. And of course here the management interface is the one that I'm using normally. So I will go next. 
so now the install process will begin in order to install our Proxmox backup server So as you can see here, the installation is successful. And this is the interface that will launch when the Proxmox backup server is actually rebooted, okay? And here we go. Now, in order to access actually your Proxmox backup server, you have to enter the IP address into your browser with the port 8007. Okay, so let's do that and see what we get. So now we can get rid of this window because we don't need it anymore. So our virtual machine is running. So let's access our Proxmox backup server using the address shown on the console so remember the port is 8007 and not 6 because 6 is reserved to actually the virtual environment okay and here we go let's go to advanced and skip the certificate verification so now we can just enter our root and the password that we have entered during the installation process and as you can see I am in so I have this no valid subscription so I can just keep rid of it I can also change the color team so I will go to this uh, root here color team and I will choose it using the Proxmox dark just for convenience here here we go so as you can see here, we have access to our dashboard of our Proxmox backup server. So actually the first thing that you have to do when you log in to your uh, Proxmox backup server is to create a data store. So a data store is the place where all your backup will be actually saved. So let's go here to the left and click on this button here, add a data store and here we get this uh, window here so here we have to enter a name so let's just call it pbs backup so this is the name of our data store and here i have to give it also a backup in path so I will do the same slash PBS backup. So this is all the information needed and I will just hit add in order to add our data store. You can click the details to see what's going on. And here we go, the task is OK, so we can get rid of this window here. And if I click now on the data store, you will see that the PBS backup store has been created. And we have here the percentage of empty space, OK? So now, after this step of adding a data store, we have to add this uh, Proxmox backup server instance to our Proxmox virtual environment, okay? So here we have to go back to our Proxmox virtual environment in order to add the Proxmox backup server instance. So let's go to our Proxmox virtual environment. So here we go. So in order to add the Proxmox backup server, it's pretty easy 
you have actually to go to your data center here on the left then storage and after that you click on this button here and you will see here there is an option proxmox backup server so you have to click on it and you have to fill in this information so for id i will choose pbs01 server here i have to give it the ip address of my proxmox backup server so remember it's 192.168.1.202 okay and of course the root username is the root and uh, the password for my backup server okay here i have arobask pam okay now we have to give it also the name of my data store so remember we have entered as data store the name pbs underscore backup as you can see here so let's enter that pbs underscore backup okay so now the last thing we have to enter is this fingerprint so in order to find it you have to go once again to your uh, proxmox backup server so let's go and click on the dashboard and for, for the backup server fingerprint you'll find here a button show fingerprint so I will click on it and this is our fingerprint so this is a copy button that we can just click in order to copy this fingerprint okay so now let's return back to our proxmox backup or proxmox virtual environment and paste it and the final step is to click on this add button here and here we go you can see that our proxmox backup server has been added to our proxmox virtual environment okay and this is actually our final step so now we have everything in order to backup any virtual machine or LXC container in our Proxmox virtual environment. But I will show you that in the upcoming videos. This video was just dedicated to how to install and configure the Proxmox backup server for our Proxmox virtual environment. Okay? So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content and if you have of course any suggestion for future videos drop them in the comment below as always i hope it has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing bye bye